Nicki Minaj has been talking a lot of shit. She was talking about, I'm the queen. I have no competition. And now, the sales for Queen, which I said before was a solid album, but it wasn't great. She did better. I think the pink print was better. So, here we are. At a time when Travis Scott, Astro World, is about to beat her. Once you didn't tell the world that. You're, you're you're bigger than life. You're this pop icon. Only just to get people's attention. To talk shit about Cardi B. To talk shit about people in subliminal messages. But you can't secure a number one spot. The link for this article is in the description below. There's a picture of Nicki. It says here, the rapper's effort might have fallen short of getting the top spot on the charts. Nicki Minaj's new album had a strong contender. Before its release through Travis Scott's success with Astro World, the race has been tight and will likely be claimed by Scott, although the winner might only be announced officially by Billboard tomorrow. The female pulled a few tricks in order to secure the number one slot in her first week of sales. Her platinum single, Fifi, was added to the Queen as its 20th track. It's a 6-9 song, but she just tried to add it to, <laughs> to get more sales. She encouraged fans to purchase her album with a bundle. Listeners can cop her latest LP with the Queen poster and a title free trial for the affordable price of $5. Wow, Travis Scott is... Still set to remain the top of the charts. DJ Academics is calling the win too. He posts the interpretation of both album sales on Twitter. Travis Scott's second week of sales for Astro World beat Nicki Minaj's first week. Okay. So it states that Astro World has generated approximately 223,000 in the U.S. in total consumption. Queen is racked. 190,000. These are low numbers for Nicki Minaj. Her time is definitely passing right on. Not to say she would be smoked or she would be gone. She would never be forgotten, but her it's not her time. That's what I was saying in my last video. Go back to the last video that I posted on Nicki Minaj dissing Cardi B. How could you talk smack about another artist when they're very relatable to this wave or per se generation than you are. You don't even have to be a great rapper today to be relevant. You just need to have something that's catchy and something that people are dumb enough to go buy and spend money or come up with a dance. You know, it don't have to be nothing that you know is artistic, something that you'd be like, wow, this is the best song ever. No. This is not that time in the world. This is the time of that stupid music sales that <laughs> you don't have to be a rapper to sell records. Are there any great singers? <laughs> you just get thinking like two or three. You know, not to go off topic, but think of the R&B uh, genre. It, it's just genre. It's not the same. You can't even think of like, but two artists is great probably, and that's Beyonce and Rihanna, and Mariah is hanging in there. And then you have like her... And that's actually an artist for people that don't know H-E-R. But anyways, back to Nicki Minaj. She has uh, probably the worst first week sales that she's ever had. And my thing is, this is only, you know, you talk all that shit and you can't back it up. Walking like you're talking. She should have waited till this album came out seeing the results and then talk shit but 
as of now, Cardi B has sold so many, uh, I think it's like six or seven gold records she posted on her uh, Instagram and Twitter. Go check it out, Cardi B on Instagram. And in the platinum single that she just had, two-time platinum from her album, uh, Bad Bunny. It, it just, she's, she's kicking Nicki Minaj's ass. So like this video, leave your comments, and subscribe later.